Good morning. It's still before noon, and welcome. I'm Doug Uke, Superintendent of New York City Schools, and we want to welcome everybody to the Citizen of the Month luncheon. And I'll start by telling you that there are about 28 students in here today. And do you know how many we have in the district? I bet you know. Over 6,000, right? Almost 6,500 students in our district, and there are 28 students in the room today. That's how special it is to be in the room and be recognized, not just for being a good student, but for being a good person and a good leader in our building. We talk about this all the time. We've got some tremendous leaders in our building. And we're very fortunate to have that. But you are one of 28 being here. Does that make you feel special? It should. Let's give our students a hand. We're going to start off today, usually we start off with entertainment, but uh, today because of Mr. Baker's schedule, we're going to put him up front. A lot of you might recognize Mr. Baker over here from the Energy Co-op, who I know you know what the Energy Co-op does and how uh, important they are for the city of uh, Newark and surrounding area and everything they do for the community. Mr. Baker is a parent, uh, also in our district, and Gary, would you please come up? And I'll let Gary talk a little bit about the Energy Co-op, but they are sponsoring this event today. So, um, students, you need to thank Mr. Baker because he got you off the hook because I was going to make you pay for mom and dad and grandma. So, but he came with a check, so you're off the hook. So, let's uh, thank Gary and Energy Co-op. Thank you, Doug. I, I, I am not the entertainment. I apologize. Uh, I'm not going to tell jokes or sing or dance or anything like that, but I will tell you a little bit about the co-op. We are a utility that, that uh, we touch about nine counties in this area. We have a home office here in Newark. We have a Utica facility that you probably see when you're getting your velvet ice cream or right across the street. And then we have a gas, util or, uh, gas facility in Hebron. We uh, have propane, natural gas, and electric to approximately 60,000 customers in, in this area. We are cooperative, so we are member-owned, and we are not-for-profit. Um, a little bit about the industry right now. I mean, how many of you lost power at some point this winter? It was really, between even AEP and us, um, a pretty successful winter. How many were cold this winter? It was about 20% colder than the 30-year average this past winter, and which was a real big draw on the energy system, both gas and electric. <clears throat> Are there any uh, students in here who think they might want to be an engineer? Any, any thoughts? Any of you uh, students like science? Math? Well, let me tell you, you'll have some opportunities to think about being an engineer sometime in your lifetime because that's probably for a long time, including right now, one of the uh, most sought-after professions uh, in the country because of energy. But you should be very, very proud of yourselves for being here today. This is a very honorable group, and to be selected as Citizen of the Month I'm telling you, it's a big deal. So enjoy your day, and be sure to thank your parents and your teachers, and of course, always be polite, study hard, keep up the good work, and on behalf of the Energy Cooperative, have a great day. Thank you. Well, thank you, Gary. And, uh, and I would mention outside of the Energy Cooperative, uh, Mr. Baker is very active in Rotary and other organizations around the community and he's a good community member and, and a good example for our kids on how to get involved in the community. Uh, we have a, a good fellows and young lady from John Clem Elementary School uh, today are, are going to present you with a uh, card signed by every student in here and so please take that back and share how much we appreciate your support.
Let's thank Gary again. Clear the stage because our entertainment is uh, ready to go. Would you, Ms. Howe, would you please have them uh, come in? As the students come in, we're, we have the high school pep band uh, today. So if you're in the front row, wow. You, you, got the, you got the best seat at the concert. You always want to be in the front row at the concert. Uh, but I will mention, student engagement is very important to us in the district. We want our students involved in something coming through school. And not everybody can shoot a 30-foot jump shot or tackle somebody as a linebacker or uh, play the trumpet or act in a play, uh, those type of things. But we have something for everybody in our district. I was just up to play last night at the high school. It's again, it's tomorrow night at 7 and Saturday afternoon at 3. Uh, plenty of seats available if you uh, wish to go watch. Uh, but uh, this is an example of something that you can become involved in is our, our uh, pep band that plays the ball games. Uh, I guess we're not ready yet. Maybe not. Oh, they're going to play coming in. Okay. Then okay. I'm just going to get out of the way. So, welcome to Pep Band.
7th at the high school auditorium. Uh, we have two concert bands at the high school. Both of them will be performing at that. We are actually going to be participating in the Heath Armed Services Day Parade. That's a new parade this year on May the 17th in the city of Heath. Uh, most of the county schools are doing it, so why not us? And then, of course, the Newark uh, Memorial Day festivities that occur on Memorial Day every year. We start at Everett Park. We end up at Cedar Hill Cemetery. So uh, if you see us, feel free to stop by, support the band, say hi to me. Just don't yell at me, please. Uh, and we'll leave you with the fight song. Thank you again for having us. And go Cats. Here we go. Fight song. Everybody up. Students, before you uh, leave the room, I want to point, uh, let's see, well, here's a good senior. Miss Brandenburg, step forward. This is what we're looking for, young lady, uh, you're going to Kent State, Akron? Kent, okay, not Kent State, just Kent. Oh, Kent State, okay, yeah, yeah. But I know that uh, she's been very active coming through school. What programs have you been involved in? Band? <laughs> Pretty good student? Pretty good student. Band's enough. I don't that that puts a on things. But this is what we're looking for: a good uh, uh, student who comes into high school, uh, finds their niche, uh, get in the marching band. You keep pretty busy in the band, right? You do, and, and and off to school you go, and and you're ready to go, correct? And I see a young lady in the Would you please step forward here? What time did you get home last night? Um, night. About midnight. Why? Because I was in the musical. Yeah, in the musical, had a big role in the musical last night. So we have band members who are in the musical, and I pulled you up front just to. Who else was in the musical last night? Raise your hand there. And and they're still. Oh, yep, yeah, they're still uh, uh, here today. Did you hear first period? Yeah. You answered the bell this morning. And my whole point is, there's a lot of things to be involved in, and you can be involved in just more than one thing. Correct. And uh, you go, And tonight at seven o'clock. Yeah. And tomorrow at 3. Seats available? Yes. Plenty of them. Good show? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you for what you do. And Mr. Wilkins up front here. I think you could tell a little bit that Mr. Wilkins has a little bit of the Ohio State marching band in him, doesn't he? He performed in the Ohio State marching band for four years. And not only did he do that, he was also a leader of a section in the Ohio State marching band, which uh, they don't let non-leaders do that, correct? Uh, no, not at all. Not. I was out of the event in November where the Ohio State band was there and, and the director of the band came out into the, the group and uh, pointed him out right away and told us how lucky we were to have uh, Mr. Wilkins here in our district working as the director now was an assistant director when you were there. Yeah. Correct? Dr. Yeah. Woods was there when, when you were there. So great program. Uh, our, our band to high school, marching band 35? Yes, 35. 30. We're going for we're going for 35 next fall, straight years into the state uh, marching band competition. And so, great program. A lot of work, though, right? A lot of good work. Well worth it, correct? All right, let's thank our students and, and Mr. Wilkins again. Teach the difference between right and left at our high school now. So. Yeah. We're supposed to teach the difference between right and left at the high school.
before we recognize our students today, uh, there's some people in the room I, I want to, as we're leaving right now, goes a, a band parent. Okay, you, 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 she didn't want her child to see her come in, so she. Uh, anyhow, as we, we go around the room a little bit, Linda, would you please stand up? Linda, you guys stay right there, Linda Phillips. Hang there. I want, I want to point out our uh, cafeteria. Uh, people here in a district feed about 46, 4,700 lunches a day, 15, 1,600 breakfast. Uh, those type of things, and they do it with a smile, as you can see. Great leadership out of Linda and her group. And I always brag about this, as if I had something to do with it, other than Linda go uh, run that department. Uh, we operate our cafeteria service here in the black. And that's very rare for a school and have for years. And what that means to us is that we don't have to put any money in from the general fund to feed our students. It's self-sufficient. And when you don't have to do that, you spend more money on computers and textbooks and things. So let's thank this group of ladies right, right over here. Thank you. Vicki Howe, raise your hand. Gloria Wilson, please raise your hand. The two ladies that are in charge of this today, Vicki's uh, over at the high school, uh, kind of in charge of a lot of things at the high school, correct? Mainly fine arts things and and some other things. Gloria works here in the administration uh, center in my office. Just wonderful ladies that do a fantastic job of organizing this. And uh, let's show our appreciation for what they do. Thank you. <laughs> then going around the room, Mr. Anderson, would you please stand up? And I always brag about this. This is unique. This is our school treasurer, Mr. Jeff Anderson. And most school treasurers stay in their office. And put assets in that column and liabilities in that column and don't get involved with the students. I'm, I'm really proud that Jeff gets out. You'll see him at basketball games, football games, plays, concerts, and he loves to come in here and support the students today. Favorite meeting of the month, of the month for him. But I also would tell you that, uh, you know, Jeff's in charge of our budget here and our treasurer. And, uh, you know, in, in 2009, community passed an operating issue and, and was told it'll last you three years. We're in 2014 and we haven't asked for new money and probably not in the near future, correct Jeff? Hopefully go another five years. Hopefully go another five years and that's, that's awesome. So thank you Jeff for what you do. <laughs> Seth Roy in the back here has taken us out of the old paper uh, type of thing. And most of you will know Seth and now's your chance to say Seth, don't call me at 5.30 in the morning again. <laughs> you haven't had a call from Seth for a few months now. We'll knock on some wood. Hopefully we make it the rest of the year. But that's that wonderful voice you hear in the morning. And makes your kids excited and you furious. And so, uh, but uh, uh, you please visit our website. Seth's changing some things up on that. Continues to improve that. Uh, we're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. And we, he started a, a blog our uh, podcast uh, that will be out there also and, and he's got some other ideas to to try to communicate and get our message out so uh, uh, let's thank Seth for what he does for you. <laughs> and we have and I will mention Barb Quackenbush, Maura Horgan and Mindy Vaughn are usually in here our, our directors but they're out recruiting today uh, because we have about 20 teachers retiring and they're out getting the best uh, of the best down at Ohio University today and yesterday at Ohio State and and so we're able to bring in some good people and we appreciate what they do and they do not like missing this and I'm just trying to scan down through Mr. Carr would you please stand up Reverend Tim Carr who's on our school board a parent in the district and I'll tell you he's got the toughest job and in, the, uh, in the, just I have friends that'll call me and say hey well I'm thinking about running for school Every community needs good leaders, but I wouldn't do that. Oh, man, it's tough in the state of Ohio right now. Well, let's thank Tim for what he does. Uh, Would you two ladies please stand up? Jean Brown, Linda Price, our directors of uh, special education in the district. They love this day, and they knew the band was coming in, so they got a front row seat. Can you still hear? Can you still hear? All right, let's thank them for what they do. Okay, and I usually leave someone out because I'm, my eyes aren't 2020s anymore, but I'm going to scan the crowd one more time. 
Okay, if we could have our principals or our teachers that are here with the building, please stand. All of our principals, staff members, and I know we have three principals out today. Um, the teachers that are here, wonderful teachers spending their time in here today and are really excited about coming in with our students. We've got a great staff here, wonderful staff of, of teachers and a wonderful staff of administrators. And students, I want you to look up. You're in here today. A big reason you're in here is because who's sitting at your table. So at this time, if you go up and give them a high five or a hug and thank them for what they do, please. I think it's important that students realize that you're in here because you're a good citizen, but there's a reason why you're a good citizen. And some of it is the staff members sitting at your table. And we didn't thank our staff members. Please help me thank our staff members as well. And then students, I want you to look. We're, we're a little bit better than the band. We can look to the right, look to the right, and look to the left of you. Some as they're sitting there. We've got grandparents here, your friends. And very important because I'm a parent. And I'm also a grandparent. And I, I can tell you, nothing makes me happier than when, when my kids would be recognized as being a good citizen. And so I know that you are proud today. You proud, Grandma? You proud of your family today, aren't you? You're always proud of your family, but really, really special today. Not every day you get taken to lunch because you've done the right thing in, in your family. And so students, please give a hug and a kiss to your mom, your dad. And I want you to tell them thank you. High schoolers, where are you at? No fist day. No fisting back there. Give your mom a hug. Give your mom. We can't move on to give her a hug. Now give your dad a hug. Tell him you love him. Look him in the eye. Tell him you love him. I don't know why that gets so hard as you get older. I talked to my mother last night on the phone on my way home from uh, uh, the uh, play. And I last thing I told her is I love you. I don't know why it got, gets so hard as we get older back there, but uh, you really ought to appreciate your parents and your grandparents and where you came from and, and that because, uh, you know, they do a lot for you. And so thank you for, for recognizing them. Okay, what, what building are we starting with? Now, I'd love to say I came up with this idea. For the last few years, I've been struggling to say, students, Please come stand right here, okay, and look right in the back, right into that camera, because you're going to be a superstar this month <laughs> and be on Channel 19. And every, every month it gets where the kids will move over here. Somebody came up with a bright idea to put the cat print down and just have them stand there. And I wish I would have thought of that two or three years ago. I, my mind must not work that way. Where would you like to cat print? Where's the best way? Right here? Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't you? It might be. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put you right here. And again, you will be on channel 19. And so when you come up and you grab the microphone, students, you need to do this. Let's take a deep breath. Blow that steam out of you. Look straight into that camera. I'm a very shy person, I really am, and I get nervous when I have to talk in front of people. But I always go, is anybody else in here nervous today? Any students? This is your time to say who you are, introduce your parents or grandparents, your friends that are with you, and then tell us a little bit about what you do out of school and what are your favorite subjects, okay? And then smile, and we'll move on. Now, from... Over here, Ms. Cable, your students will come here, meet Mr. Anderson, meet Mr. Carr, and we'll stand there. And because of the logistics of the room, that school will sit down, and once they're down, then the next principal will come and grab the microphone so that we can all be seen. What channel was that again? 19. That's right. It's on channel 19. Okay? All right. Any questions? No questions? All right, great. Uh, first introduce uh, Ben Franklin, I'll love you. Mrs. Dina Cable. 
Good afternoon. I want to thank the Energy Co-op for lunch today and I also want to uh, congratulate some of our former Ben Franklin students that are out there in the audience today. But most of all, I'm so pleased to have two students here today um, that just make my job so enjoyable and they just really have great Ben Franklin pride. Our fifth grade representative is Nevaeh Miller. My name is Nevea, and I go to Ben Franklin, and I bring my mom and dad, and my mom's name is Jessica, and my dad's name is Jacob, and my favorite thing to do is sing, and I'm going to be in the Ben Franklin Talent Show, and my favorite subject is to write. And our fourth grade representative is Justice Schooler. Hello, my name is Justice School, and I brought my mom and my grandma. And my mom's name is Jamie, and my my grandma's name is Diane. And I like to write, I like to read and math, and math, and I like to do math. And I like to go outside and play in the warm weather, and I like, and I'm playing softball. Everybody else does that, what those two young ladies did. That was perfect. Okay, so next people up, don't mess that up. Who's next? Carson. Yeah, you got some pressure on you, right? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, Mrs. Burles in Carson Elementary. Good afternoon. I am Sarah Burles, and I am honored to be the principal of Carson Elementary and delighted to introduce two wonderful students. These are not only the students of the month at Carson, but the students of the year, because this month we choose over the whole um, fourth grade rather than individual classrooms. So they're the student of the year as well. And our fifth grade representative is um, Ms. Caitlin Bray, and she will introduce her guest. My name is Caitlin Bray, and my favorite. And I brought my mom, her name is Kelly, and I like, I'm in fifth grade, and I like math, and I like going outside, and gymnastics. Very good, very good. Okay, next we have Cherry Valley. Good afternoon. My name is Chet Coleman. I'm a very proud principal of Cherry Valley Elementary. And I'd also like to thank the Energy Co-op and uh, thank everybody for coming out today. Um, I always look at it as a team between the school, the parents, and the student, kind of a triangular type thing. And uh, we all work together. We all have success. Um, speaking of success, brought two outstanding young ladies with me today. Um, first is a fifth grader, Miss Sydney Peck. She's going to come forward and introduce her guest today and tell you a little bit about herself. My name is Sydney. I brought my dad, Doug, and my mom, Serena. And I do dance at Patty's Dance Center. And my favorite subject is math. And our fourth grade representative is Miss Lydia Holmes. My name is Lydia Holmes. I brought my mom, Ruth, and my dad, Matt. I like to do gymnastics and dance and soccer, and I like math and reading. I think Cherry Valley's partial to red hair, aren't they? <laughs> have to have red hair to get student of the month? Okay. Very good job. I uh, tell you, the pressure continues to, continues to build the three perfect uh, buildings. 
No pressure, John Clem. But. Okay, John Clem Elementary. Good afternoon. I'm Ann Hickman. I'm a fourth grade teacher at John Clem Elementary, and I'm excited to be here to celebrate with our um, two students of the month, Sebastian Bell and Caitlin Cooper. At John Clem, we end our announcements every day with uh, remember to take pride in your John Clem and ABC's academics, behavior, and citizenship. And these two children are just the spirit of what those words mean, and I'm very proud of them today. Sebastian? Hello, my name is Sebastian Bell. This is my grandma, Anna, and this is my mom, Christy, and I like to draw, and my favorite subject is reading. Hi, my name is Caitlin Cooper. I like to um, ride my bike outside whenever it's warm, and my favorite subject in school is math. Okay, Hillview Elementary. Great job, students. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Must be down one student. Hi, I'm Debbie Green. I'm the literacy coordinator for the intermediate students. And our principal, Peg Dunlap at Hillview, couldn't be with us today, so she said, you go. Because she knows how I love to be on camera. I, uh, I'm really honored to introduce our fourth grade person. I wish our fifth grade young lady could have been here. She has a very interesting name. It looks like T-H-Y, but it's pronounced the, and she told us at the beginning of the year, don't even try to pronounce my last name, just say N. So Thee is our fifth grade student, and she and her parents were not able to be with us today, but I'm pleased to introduce Garrett. Garrett Bell in fourth grade. Can you Hello, my name is Garrett, and my parents' names are Greg and Jamie, and my favorite subject in school is gym. <laughs> That was my favorite subject too, Garrett, I can tell you that. I, I will mention as legend comes up, uh, Hillview had a great program last night, second grade program about being positive and saying songs about reading negative out of your mind and I just, it was a half hour program, it was a wonderful uh, program so I just wanted to bring that up. Miss Cooper over at Legend. Thank you, Mr. Ute. My name is Ellen Cooper and I'm the principal at Legend Elementary, so pleased to be here today. Congratulations to all of our citizens of the month in the room and their proud parents. The first young lady that I have to introduce to you is our fifth grade student from Legend and her name is Madison Hendershot. Madison will tell you a little bit about herself and introduce her guests. Hello, my name is Madison Hendershot and today I brought my mom and my dad. My mom's name is Julie and my dad's name is Mike. My favorite subject at school is reading. And my favorite after-school subjects are Girl Scouts and soccer. Our fourth grade citizen of the month is Abby Herbert. Abby, if you'll introduce your guests and tell a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Abby Herbert, and I brought my, um, my Aunt Joyce and my mom and my favorite subject is reading and writing, and I love doing softball. You guys follow directions very well. McGuffey's ready to go, right? All right. The last of our seven elementary schools. <laughs> Hi, 
Hello. Um, I'm Mary Borgia, a fifth grade teacher at McGuffey. And one of the fun things about being at a school for a while is I've had the brothers of both of our citizens of the month, um, and now I have them. So for the first one is in my class. Um, she's a fifth grade student, Noelle Zarnowski. Hi, I'm Noelle Zarnowski. This is my dad, Mike, and my mom, Jeannie. I like to paint and draw, and my favorite subject is social studies. It's my favorite, too. There might be a reason for that. Um, and our next citizen of the month, our fourth grade, I hope to have in my class next year, and this is Ariana Mitchell. Hi, my name is Ariana Mitchell, and I brought my great-grandma, Jan, and I like to play baseball, and my favorite subject is math and science. My great-grandmother looked a lot older than that. Are you sure you're a great-grandmother? Okay. Well, good for you. Okay, the first of our middle schools, uh, Wilson Middle School. Ms. Baker, Dean of Students, will cut through. Very good. That's fine. Good afternoon. My name is Cynthia Baker, and I'm the Dean of Students at Wilson Middle School. I'd like to thank the Energy Co-op and York City Schools for giving us this opportunity to share our wonderful students with the community. I also, um, as Ms. Borgia said, love coming to these because I get to see who I get next year, our fifth graders from McGuffey and Cherry Valley. But we're going to start with our eighth grade representative from Wilson Middle School. This is Jared Baumgartner and his family. Hey, I'm Jared Bumgarner. I'm an eighth grader at Wilson. These are my two parents behind me, Charlie, my dad, and Tina, my mom. Um, my two favorite subjects are probably social studies and science. I play on the Newark eighth grade baseball team, and I enjoy sports. <laughs> Jared is also one of our office aides at Wilson, so I get to spend 42 minutes with him every day. He's wonderful. <laughs> our seventh grade representative is Miss Megan Hampton and her family. Hi, I'm Megan Hampton. This is my dad, Timothy, and this is my mom, Rebecca. Um, I am in orchestra. I play the cello, and I do volleyball, and I am on the media team at my church. My favorite subject is algebra and language arts. And our newest member to the Wilson family is our sixth grade representative, Miss Brittany Kerr. I'm Brittany and I'm in the Wilson Orchestra and I play violin and my favorite subject is language arts. Very good job. Our next building, Liberty Middle School, Mr. Nick Myers. And I'll, I'll, I use Nick as an example of leadership carries over students. Way back when, years ago, it wasn't that long ago, I guess, was it, Nick? Where I was a first year principal in Marion County, and there was a junior running around the building. His name was Nicholas Myers. And he was very a very good leader in our school, very good student very good in the plays and music programs, and, and I know his uh, uh, choir teacher still loves him very much to this day because she always asks me, how's Nick doing when I see her? And as leadership carries over, uh, when I came to Newark and, and saw the name Nick Myers, I started thinking, well, there can't be too many Nick Myers, and sure enough, there wasn't. Nick was a vocal music teacher at Liberty. He spent a few years working in our mentor teacher program, and that leadership has carried over. He's a dean of students at, at Liberty, and I just hope I can be, get to retirement age before he decides to be a superintendent so he doesn't take my job. But, but uh, students' leadership carries over in life, and here's an example. Uh, Nick Myers at Liberty. All right, good afternoon. My name is Nick Myers, and I love my job as dean of students at Liberty Middle School. 
I'm in all blue and I've got this special tag. We did an autism awareness day today with our students dressed down. We raised over $700. Miss Henry just wanted me to pass that along as good news about our school right now. So we are totally pumped for today. Uh, our first representative is Khalil Ben Lindley. He is our eighth grader. Hi. Hi, I'm Khalil, and my favorite subject is science, and I like to ride my bike. And I brought my mom with me, Bethany. And our seventh grade representative is Jared Wright. Hello, my name is Jared Wright. I brought my mom, Teresa, and my stepfather, Will. Um, I like to read, and my favorite subject is math. And our sixth grader is Paige Stewart. Hi, I am Paige Stewart, and I'm sixth grade. Who I brought with me today is my grandpa, Al, and my grandma, Kim, uh, yeah, my grandma Kim. I love to play volleyball for the Newark High School and um, for the YMCA. And my favorite subject is language arts and band. And I do play the clarinet. Is it just me or grandparents looking a lot younger these days? Okay, well. A second till we get through, or yeah, Mr. Serino, go ahead and come through the front area. Neat things going on at Heritage Middle School. It's coming up. Uh, if you ever get over that way, uh, check out the back of the building, the walking track, the pavilion, and some things that Mr. Serino has made possible uh, down there in the, in the back for our community to take advantage of. Mr. Serino at Heritage. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tom Serino, I'm the proud principal at Heritage Middle School and I'm back by popular demand, alright, <laughs> uh, right Gloria? She's got me on. Yeah, she's got me on the, time, on the watch. Uh, I usually hold court, uh, I don't mind it, you know. Uh, but anyway, where I'm going with this is the, the man that usually that's been coming in all year for me is uh, Mr. Uh, Brent Fickus, and he's our dean of students. You've had a chance to see the other dean of students, and as you might not know, some, the dean of students have probably one of the toughest jobs in the district, if not the toughest job in the district, uh, sitting back at the table, and uh, I had a parent ask me, so exactly what does that mean, dean of students? All right, and you know, Mr. Ute uh, just mentioned about you know leadership skills and the training. All right, there's none better than the dean of students. All right, for that, uh, what that is, that's a job description. You take a guidance counselor's job description, an assistant principal, and you merge those two jobs. So you know, you guys have a great opportunity, but you have a tough, tough job as dean of students doing two full-time jobs. So I take my hat off to Nick and Cindy and uh, Mr. Fickus that could not be here because part of his dean of students job just jumped up and grabbed him right at the end. So I take my hat off to those people. I'm going to talk about our students and our school and everything, but uh, I do I usually do a, a little uh, information period. Mr. Ute drove that point home earlier, and I want, to, I want to reiterate what he does, and I support him because we're a lot alike, Mr. Ute and I. And son, PE was my favorite subject too. All right. <laughs> Uh, our, uh, our, our motto at uh, Heritage Middle School is one team, one heartbeat, and all our kids have those t-shirts on, and uh, on Fridays we wear a new type of a uniform. Uh, we're usually in our crimson and our polo shirts and khaki pants, but on Fridays you can almost see the entire school with one team, one heartbeat, and our kids truly believe that. For our students now to be chosen as the cream of the crop uh, every uh, citizen of the month, that says a lot, okay? But the one tag that we've been going on, and, and I want to say this for our district and from what Mr. Ute said and our other principals sitting here and representatives, we're more than just a report card. And that's what Mr. Ute was saying. We're more than just a report card because what's on the report card, which you'll see in the media, does not necessarily always reflect our schools, which your children go to. And I want you to reassure you that we offer a real good education uh, at uh, Newark City Schools, well-rounded, well okay, and, uh, and, and it means a lot to everybody in this room as parents and as students 
and as administrators because we work hard. And uh, you saw when we marched the band in. Okay, you see your loved ones sitting at the table. Citizens of the month are not on the report card. We get nothing for that. The band that marched in, I just, you know, being an old old coach and stuff, I just want to get up and cheer and, and scream, yeah, hang on, Sloopy. And, and, but none of that is on a state report card. And by the way, all those kids that were in that band are Heritage graduates. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just, just kidding. I thought that was pushing the limit a little bit. All right. But anyway... Just, just if you ever want to talk to somebody, you know, you talk to Mr. Fulan, and he'll be coming up. The things that we offer in this school district and at the high school because it's bigger, and the opportunities our students have are amazing. Your kids will come out of here with a good education, and more important than that, they'll be well-rounded. And so I'm real proud of our school and what we do and everybody sitting in this room. So I just want to take my hat off to everybody and everything, but uh, we're, we'll do just fine. Our students, all right, our students, which is the most important thing of the day. Chris Motes, please come forward. Um, hello, my name is Christopher Motes and this is my mom, Jamie Motes, and my dad, Christopher Motes. And I just want to say my favorite subjects are language arts and science. Our seventh grader, I want to make sure I pronounce your name correctly, okay? Because I understand when it's a lot of times when I pronounce her name at school or something, I mispronounce it. Uh, I understand. All right, everybody knows me as Mr. Serino. It's really Soriano coming from over from Italy. But we don't use that. I've been Tommy Serino from the time I can remember. So I want to get your name correct. Erica Francois. Did good? Uh -huh. All right, come on, Erica. All right, I practiced that for like a week. Hi, my name is Erica Francois. This is my brother Eric and my mom Marie. I like to draw and play the violin. My favorite subjects are science and language arts. Last but not least, our sixth grader, and he never stops smiling. If I'm having a bad day, I hunt him up. Okay, he comes in school smiling, he leaves school smiling. Okay, and I just, he could be our poster child. Nicholas Summers. There you go, Hi, I'm Nick Summers. I wrote my mom and dad with me today. I'm in choir, and my favorite subject is language arts. Attitude and environment are everything. We talk about that a lot. Uh, Heritage certainly has a good attitude and good environment down there. It's students like Nick there that uh, come in re ready to learn and are enthusiastic and, and those things. We appreciate that kind of attitude. Okay, we have Mr. Fullen in the high school. I think a little longer line following him than most, so we'll hang on. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you, Mr. Ute. We have a lot of exciting things going on at the high school. If you ever have, have not had a chance yet to come to the high school and visit the new building, I encourage you to do that. Drop by and give you a tour. It's outstanding, especially on a day like this when it's kind of raining out. You know, we used to have to, for example, hold classes when it was raining out because kids had to go outside, so we don't have to do that anymore. So that's a great thing. But the building is outstanding, and we appreciate all the support for that. Uh, Mr. You mentioned that we have the play going on at 7 o'clock tonight. We also have it at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I want to talk about something that's really going on that's probably really important, and that is we're having a breakfast for Hannah King. If you know anything about Hannah, she's had some problems, had a few seizures, was in a coma for a long time, didn't think she was going to come out of it. Um, and you can talk about that all you want, but until you've ever been in that situation with your own child and you're looking down and you wonder whether they're going to come back or not, that's a tough one. So I encourage you to come out to breakfast tomorrow and support Hannah from 8 to 11 at the high school. All right, our seniors, Olivia Sharon. Hi, I'm Olivia Sharon. I brought my mom and my dad, and I'm in the Honor Society and Choir, and I like to sing. Our other senior from SeaTech is Janie Arleys, and Janie couldn't be here um, today. 
But I had the opportunity to go to the SeaTech um, induction of the National Honor Society students over there. And they had only 42 students in the whole program, and 12 of them were from Newark High School. So that certainly uh, represents us well. Our junior is Dylan Coventry. He plays baseball. Uh, my name is Dylan Coventry. Uh, I'm a junior at the high school. Uh, I brought my mom and my dad today. Uh, I play baseball and I'm involved in Young Life. And my favorite subject is chemistry. Our sophomore is Tana Barrett. Tana. Tana. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Tana Barrett. This is, these are my parents, Tom and Karen. Um, I play volleyball, basketball, and I run track, and my favorite subject is science. And our freshman is Caitlin Goodwin. Hello, my name is Caitlin Goodwin. I bought my mom. I like to draw, and my favorite subject is math. I actually tried to practice that, whether it was Tana or Tana. I'm like Mr. Serino. I hate to do the name wrong. <laughs> Thank you. I think one thing you see out of our high school, a lot of these students are involved in, in activities, and, and I really push from, from our office, and I know our principals support it, um, student engagement. Student engagement is the number one factor in dropouts. Student engagement is the number one factor in a dropout in high school. And so I uh, appreciate Mr. Carr and the rest of the board, Mr. Anderson's support of this, to participate in our activities. It doesn't have to be a sport. There is no activity fee right now. Check around other schools and see who else has that. Not many. Not many. You get in that outer belt, uh, there are schools up there at $600 to participate in a, in a sport or an activity, $600. And there's where you get 1,500 kids in a high school and you have no JV basketball team, or you have no marching band, or you have no cheerleaders. Student engagement, number one factor, and dropout. So we have that commitment from our Board of Education. Our, I just checked with Coach Quackenbush the other day. Our numbers in the spring are up. We have almost 70 track uh, members this year, as an example. Normally, we've been in the high 30s or low 40s in that, so our kids are becoming engaged. That's why I really talk a lot about young elementary students. Get engaged in something as you're coming through. Middle school, get engaged in an activity. And when you get into high school, be sure to, to get in. And you saw a wide range. We've got baseball, we got choir, we got all those type of things to become involved with. So parents and grandparents, Make sure your child is participating in something. And that, that helps with a lot of things. Uh, so that's my little speech about student engagement in the room today. Again, students, I want to thank you for being good leaders. And I use Mr. Myers as an example for a reason. When I met Mr. Myers, he would have been sitting back at that table as a junior in high school. And look at him now. And he's been a good leader as a student. So we talk about those habits carry over and over and over. And I'm most proud of the students in this room today, not because you get an A in math or an A in social studies or a B, and you're a good student that way, but because you respect other people. And that's why you're in this room today. Somebody has noticed that, or a lot of people have noticed, that you respect other people and treat others with respect, correct? That's awesome. That's, the way, that's what you do. You're a good teammate. You can be the smartest person in the world and be a horrible teammate. And parents, how far does that take you in life? Not very far, unless you can find a company that will stick you in a corner and you can play on a computer all day and not interact with anybody. Does anybody have a job like that? I better make sure nobody does. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'll be in trouble now. But you've got to be a good teammate in life. Yep, and, and our administrators, you look around the room and our staff members here. One of the great things about uh, Newark City Schools with our staff is we've got a lot of good teammates, a lot of people that share things. 
and it's just a great place to be. We talk a lot about we're fortunate to our buildings should be taken care of for 50, 60, 70 years in this district. Our financial condition we mentioned earlier with Mr. Anderson, if you make it past three or four years without asking for new money in, in today's Ohio environment, you are very lucky and very fortunate. And great planning, right Jeff? And great planning. And our student achievement's up. It's on the rise. But all those things factored in, I'm going to echo what Mr. Serino said. I'm really proud of the things that we have going on that aren't measured by standardized test. Really proud of that. We have a high school group, Mr. Fullen, uh, a group at the high school led by Baron Smith, April 25th. A lot of our high school kids will be out in the community working in parks, cleaning things up, and doing some things like that. So we have a lot of good things going on here. Anybody else want to grab the microphone and say anything? You students did an awesome job. You want to say anything else? Remember Channel 19. You want to say anything? All right, at the count of three, we're going to say go cats. Ready? One, two, three. Go cats! All right, have a good day. Enjoy. Thank you.